Joy Cons are so weird. <laughs> like, like, I know, like, the Switch is like four years old, so, like, ev oh, there, there are buttons inside the. What? Else, SR, SL, what is. They seem to do nothing here, there's. Okay, well, like, <laughs> I know, I know the Switch is like four years old or something, so like everyone's used to them by now. But I am still baffled by this nonsense. This weird Joy-Con shit. Like, why are there buttons on the inside? I just, I've had this Switch for like, like what, two, three weeks now? I've only just realised this button's on the inside of this, on the Joy-Cons. <laughs> All right, well, Joy Cons are so damn weird. <laughs> Joy Cons are so damn weird. All right, I haven't, I haven't bothered. <laughs> I have, I just haven't bothered. Maybe I'll get to it eventually, but right now I just, I just don't care. It's just that simple. I just don't care. Uh, six, five, four. All right, all right. I have a list. I finally got around to making a list of the skills that I should probably invest in. <laughs> Where is it? Got it saved on my phone here. It takes as long as it takes to load up. And by load up, I mean I have to find where I saved it. Those are my Pathfinder guides. I need to get back to Pathfinder eventually. Okay, we'll start with Little Mermaid because that's the one that popped up first for some reason. Okay, so I just, I just want... I want nothing for Magician for her, do I? Edict, Flame Law... Earth Law Tech Up, which I have on a uh, Thumbelina at the moment, but not on her. Okay? But Therapist Xe Helia, I got max. Therapist skill freeze. I've got down here Death Loss Heal. I don't think that's worth it. Like I got it because like it is still a heal, but I don't think it's worth it. So it's there as an option. Counselor blow the spell, cancel the skill. I got. Necromancer, save SP. And that's it for Necromancer. Alright, cool. Otsu. Otsu, where is... Alright. Altair, water attack. All tier skill and physical, well, and a physical counter, I got. Milky Way is mostly magic, so I don't really want anything from here, because she's not built for magic. Yeah, that's fine, though. Like, it's not... It's fine. It's fine. Hercules, which is what she is now. I've got Poison Water, Power Earth. Sleep Wind, Phantom Hercules Skill, yeah, right. Phantom, and Agi up. But for other classes, let's see here Stargazer, Fire Attack, Wind's Edge, Stargazer Skill, and I've got maybe, I've got question marks next to these two. I got question mark next to these two because I don't quite know if, like they're like if I get anything else then sure. Weaver, there's a lot for Weaver, but they cost they cost a fair amount. They cost a fair amount. So Weaver will probably be like the last ones that I cap out at. So let's go. So I got all the ones I want here. Milky Way. Milky Way skill. Only. Okay. 
Gretel, Gretel, let's see here, Gretel. Scientist? Nothing. Fair enough. Itemeister? Item? Itemeister skill? Treasure Hunt plus one. Got. Mimic? Scholar? SP Drain Fire? Mimic skill? Tech combo analyze. Increases. It's basically if you if you uh, keep hitting someone with um, their weakness, it does more damage. Fair enough. All right. Rapunzel. Rapunzel. Here we go. Libero. Torrent blade. Flame law. I don't have this for some reason. Oh, because it's a chant. That's probably why. Okay. Been a minute since I went over these. <laughs> I'm glad I made the list, but still. Okay, so, uh, Libero skill. I've got counter, which I might not because it's a physical attack and she's not a bit for physical, so I just, I might just ignore that one. I've got Agi up. And I've got... Rash rush brackets if you want physical. I don't want physical, so why did I bother writing that? Add you up there, maybe. Nope, wrong one. Alright, poet. Blow, skill guard, poet skill, tech up. Blow, skill guard, poet skill, tech up. Alright, cool. Fairy, magic counter, and tech. Tech up, magic counter. Lovely. Hamlin. So that's Kagia, that's Grittle. Hamlin. Fighter. Wind's Edge. Fighter skill, air blessing. And uh, do or die, yep. Paladin, I've got this. Oh, I got Earth. She doesn't use Earth, so why do I have Earth Blessing down? She never uses Earth. Nothing. None of her. None of her things use Earth. Uh, you can only get Earth from uh, the gear she has. That's a waste of CP. That's a waste of CP. Like the defense up, sure. This I get, but that's just a waste of CP. All right, Kagi up. Okay, Archer, Amber Red, Archer skill, resist attack, Sniper shield, quick shot, Speed Gunner, uh. I got Spears Gunner skill. First strike, Agi and Spray. Okay, we'll leave those for a sec. Dark Seeker Guard Stall and uh, Moraine. Moraine, I ain't got enough for. Guard Stall. I'll come back for that, maybe. Blood Hunter. Gigantst, Blood Hunter skill, Commander. That's a lot of CP, Jesus. Blood skill and Commander. Why do I? Even I'm confused about why. Like, maybe I worked out what the ble what the bleed means, and I just forgot. It's entirely possible, knowing me. Yeah, we'll leave it. And you don't have any SP, so... Yeah. Okay, cool. Y'all need uh, more slots, though. Like, you don't need any more slots, that's fine. You need one more slot. One more slot. Alright, so... Rapunzel, 
Little Mermaid need one more slot each. Ow! Ow! Oh, this is an event episode. I didn't even realize. Okay, well. You seek more power. Is there anything else? I didn't even realize this was going to be an event episode. All right. Is there anything else? Really? These are these are a bit on charge. What do you mean? Alright, they all just have one each. Is there anything else? See you. I'm glad you came. I might never use those. Anything else? Retraining yourself, are you? Ah, uh, the A minuses. Is there anything? Alright, well, I I guess I guess we're doing events. No. Why, hello there. Yeah. All right, it's an event episode. Fair enough. Yeah, if I'm playing with me, do you mind if I come in? Also, oh, sure, come on in. Coming in. Uh, what's the matter? Is something you need? Nothing particularly. Just stop by uh, since I haven't been around. Okay, well, perfect timing. For what? Uh, for something I wanted to say to you. Sorry for being a bitch. Now that's unusual, you wanted to speak with me? Is that supposed to be sarcastic? Not at all, I'm actually quite honoured. Uh, so what is it you wanted to say? Well... Hmm? I'm sorry about the last time I was a complete and total bitch for an entire dungeon. Last time? It's about what happened at the alley area. I know I wasn't the best... I wasn't in the best condition, but still, I spoke too harshly to you back then. You have nothing to say. I'm sorry, I was just uh, taken aback and that you would apologise to me like this. Who are you? Uh, but, now I know that you're finally the fun believer that I used to know. What do you mean by that? She means that you ain't a bitch no more. Eh, yeah, kinda. Mostly. Mostly. Yeah, you're always a brash type. No, hello. No, no, what? Hello? God, where's the... There it is. I know what happened there. I know what happened there, but alright. You're always the brash type, uh, but you were never suspicious of things like that. Yeah, tell me what happened. Uh, sorry, but I can't uh, talk to you much about that yet. And I want uh, I want to trust you, but... <clears throat> even though it's gone, I'm still a member of the Dawn, right? I'm sorry. Uh, so many things have happened uh, in uh, in the order after... Uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah, drink, goddammit. After uh, Chiaki's passing, how did how did uh, Michiru take that? She must she must have not realized actually. <laughs> how do I think about it? Shut up, shut up. She might she might have been cool with it. Also, how are these on low battery? They've been charging. Uh, whatever. I'll talk about it more once I can get my mind settled. Which means that she uh, doesn't want uh, me to ask uh, her any further. No problem. I can wait. Thank you. What's the matter? Oh um. I'm not used to seeing her uh, apologize so often. Uh, she's taking me off guard. Uh, by the way, uh, do you like uh, everyone here? A pretty intense crew, isn't it? Interesting is an understatement. I can at least say that uh, they're a reliable bunch. Is that so? I don't have the uh, smarts as Gretel does. Uh, when it comes to sheer strength, handling is top notch. Uh, too bad she's a bit loose on top. This is true. And she also reminds me a bit of Sister Red. Handling is straightforward and, al and always helps our friends. Now, those qualities remind me of Sister Red. And... And... I know I just said I can't fully really trust you, but... I'm just saying... What? What? Son of a... Really? All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right goddamn back. Hey, right, so that was a problem. That was a goddamn problem. All right. I 
Uh, excuse me. Is that you, Snow White? Come on in. Coming in. Hey, what brings you here? Yeah, I just want to say hello uh, as a new member here. Is that so? Did I come at the wrong time? Not at all. I was just surprised at how formal you were. Well, hello to you too. Oh, thank you. And uh, here's to looking forward to being with you again. Oh, and I have to apologise. Yeah, I know. You, your sister a bitch. Sister Fumbelina, I'm sorry about her antics towards you. Yeah? Yeah, she's been bothered by that. Yeah, she doesn't need to apologise. This sister can uh, be mis- No, 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 you don't misunderstand a bitch. She just a bitch. <laughs> she got a reason for being a bitch, but she a bitch. Uh, but she's actually a very kind person. Uh, so I'm just hoping that she uh, didn't leave a bad impression. Well, if I didn't play the first game, yes. Uh, please forgive her. Is that it? Uh, sure, she can uh, get a bit under my skin, uh, but I know she's caring and loving person. Uh, so there's nothing to worry about here. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. No, really, I need to apologise. Are you sure? Uh, after all that uh, she said to you. Eh. Uh, like I said, it's fine. It's not It's not like I'd uh, get mad at what she said to me. Or would you rather like to hear me say that I won't forgive her? No, it's just that uh, I'm a bit surprised that you don't uh, seem very phased by her. I'm also relieved that you're not angry at her. You've changed a bit too. I don't recall you being so worried like this. No, she's always been worried like this. This has always been her. Only it was more to do with her being bland and shit. Is that so? I really can't uh, tell myself. I can tell uh, I'm not like Sister Fumbelina. Uh, she keeps scolding me at how na naive I am. Huh? She also tends uh, to come out uh, strong. Uh, so, when, so we get into arguments quite a lot recently. I know she's only saying uh, what she says uh, for me and Sleepy, but... Uh, but I don't think uh, that gives her the right to yell at others. It must have been stressful uh, to have uh, worried uh, like this the whole time. I have to say, they sure changed a lot since they joined the Order of the Sun. Or maybe it's just that, uh, yeah, just that uh, time took a toll on them. I'm so sorry uh, that us arguing cause, uh, is causing uh, everyone so many problems. No need to worry. I think uh, everything is just fine. Excuse me? Uh, you sisters each care for each other uh, in your own way, so I'm sure f uh, things will fall into place. If you have anything on your mind uh, that you'd uh, like to uh, let out, feel free uh, to come and talk to me. Also, I feel a lot better now. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, but you owe me one. Got it? This bitch. This bitch and her debts. This bitch and her debts. Where are we with affection? One. Two. Two. R one. Come on, bae. I loved you in the last game. You were second best girl. How, how you gonna do me like this? How Snow White like me better than you? Come on. <laughs> Come on, don't do me like that. Yeah, what's going on here? Odyssey. Uh, we were discussing how we can allocate our roles with the lack of manpower. Uh, that's right, uh, the other survivors uh, fled to the tower with the uh, members of the Order. Uh, not, uh, not we can... Not we can do anything about it now. I don't think that's correct, but okay. Uh, so we just uh, have to figure things out ourselves. Uh, we gotta fix the facilities to get the yeah, Liberate District up and running again. You think uh, could have uh, fled to the tower with everyone too? Why didn't you leave? You serious? There are no facilities in the tower that could provide any support to your Blood Maidens. Not that we could do anything there uh, with how, you know, how they got zilch into structure, you know. Uh, no use for us. Uh, no use for us to be with, with them uh, if none of the facilities works, right? Wait, so you mean you all stayed because of us? Or behind for us? And we're here to help, yeah, we're here to help support you girls no matter what. And to add, we decided to stay behind for us too. Yeah, but I was uh, wanting Hikari to go with them, but... You know, she had a fit over it. <laughs> There's no way I'd leave. And we can't fight Marchins and Nightmares uh, ourselves, but... Uh, we'll fight by staying here and supporting you girls. No way I'm turning my back on you. See what I mean? <laughs> She's been blowing steam like this the whole time. Thank you, everyone. But this place is dangerous. No telling uh, when the nightmare or the marchers will strike. It'd be best uh, if we could uh, offer protection, uh, but we can't split our party right now. Yeah, we can. We have so many. With hands all gone, our defences are a bit sucky, uh, but we're not completely defenceless. Yep, and we still have uh, Hamlet and Familiars with us too. Oh, and uh, you'd be surprised uh, that 
Yeah, there are some survivors who want to stay behind and offer support. We're planning on offering them uh, roles to help maintain our limited defences and facilities. We also got basic equipment and gears ready. Uh, so we should be able to at least uh, fend, ourselves off, uh, fend ourselves against marchants. Uh, heck, uh, we even uh, made a, a portal into our shelter. The portal into our shelter is small, so the nightmare can't come in. Uh, the fact that they call doors portals is so weird. Yeah, and uh, when we pu when push comes to shove, uh, we'll make a mad dash for it, so we'll be fine. I don't know what to say. Uh, come on, cheer up. Uh, we've come uh, this far. I, I need to get the control. I I'm ha I just ha I'm ha holding the Joy Cons loosely in each hand, and it's so weird and uncomfortable. I just want this goddamn get this goddamn what's it called Joy Con grip. Welcome. I just want this. <laughs> I figured, you know what? You know what? I'll try just with the Joy Cons itself without the grip. For this recording, I am um, 20 minutes in. And I'm just like, nah, nah. Joy Cons on the run feels so weird. All right. Can we do it right this time? Sorry for the trouble. Mm, 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 Don't make that noise. Oh, that's where that one was. That's a sneaky bitch. That's a sneaky bitch. That's on the goddamn border of the screen. That's a sneaky ass bitch. You wanna purge? That's a sneaky ass Oh, and it costs less each time. Well, once you do it once, it costs less. Okay. See ya. Still a sneaky ass bitch. Oh, this goddamn controller grip feels so much better. Joy-Cons on their own is so damn weird. <laughs> Anything else? Isn't that Snow White? Oh, yeah, right. What's she doing in the middle of the hallway? Uh, is she shaking? What are you doing there, Snow White? Do you have a problem? Oh, what? So, Little Mermaid, uh, there's a mirror over there. Mirror? Oh, you mean that large one over there? Uh, we put it there so that everyone uh, could use it. So, is there a problem? I'm scared of mirrors. Scared? Why would you be scared? Are you scared that you'll see a ghost behind you? It's not that. I can't explain it. I'm just scared of seeing myself in the mirror. It's it's no way's bud to be though. I can't uh, get, I can't get myself uh, to budge the moment I see a mirror. Yeah, she really is scared. <laughs> yeah, what a blood beetle to have. Are you always like this when you go through here? Uh, yes, I can uh, get through somehow when Sister Fumbelina and uh, Sleepy are with me. But oh, poor thing. I wonder if there's uh, anything we can do to help. I don't know, why don't we stand in front of the mirror so, she, uh, so we can obstruct the view from you? Huh? Good idea, Otsu. Uh, we can uh, hide it from you, Snow White. Okay, we'll stand in front of it like this. There you go, Snow White. You can't see the mirror now, right? Are you sure? Uh, come now, go on. It's fine, trust us. <laughs> Thank you, here I go. That's kind of adorable. They, they, they made that kind of adorable. Alright. Uh, thank you ever so, thank you uh, ver I almost said ever so much. <laughs> thank you so very much. Oh, it's so little mermaid. Well, you owe me one. Uh, you're so kind uh, not to tease me because of my fear of mirrors. Uh, you really ev yeah, you even went uh, out your way to help. We don't know how tough it is uh, to live with, with our blood libido. Uh, we're all in this together. But isn't that hard to live without mirrors? I mean, how do you check yourself out? Uh, Sister Fumbelina helps me get dressed in things. Ah, oh, I see. I know it's weird. Uh, I'm no different from some small child uh, getting help to get uh, getting help to get dressed. That's not true. If anything, I'm a bit jealous uh, how well you sisters get along. Yeah, but I wish uh, things were like that for me too. Oh my, really? Sister Fumbelina can get a bit uh, too clingy at times, but she's got a very kind heart. Uh, she makes sure that I don't have uh, to alarm mirrors by taking care of me in all sorts of ways. She does. Oh, she help you brush your teeth. I didn't know that. Uh, I guess Fumbelina uh, uh, does it uh, in a way uh, so that we don't take notice. You guys are so different from each other, uh, but you get along uh, you get along well. Yeah, you're such a wonderful sister, so I'm a little jealous. I think so too. But for me, I'm happy that I don't have any siblings. Why? Isn't it obvious? I'd hate to have competition uh, in uh, having your grace, my dear princess. Yeah. If I had siblings, uh, I can see us fighting over you. 
I guess I should be happy I don't have siblings too. And that way I can have you all to myself. I can see you two get along wonderfully too. Every scene... Hello. Oh, we talked to another event. Okay. Every scene where there's another character involved, it's meant to be their moment. Hotsu and Little Mermaid are like, alright, so we're going to just ignore them and we're going to go on our own thing. Cool. <laughs> uh, Sleepy, are you alright? Alright. Uh, you're pale, you've been wobbling the whole time. Are you sick? No, not sick, but... But... Sleep... Sleep... Sleepy. Sleepy? Oh. Oh, well, that is your name, so... No more. Need more sleep. Uh, need to sleep. Can't move. Hey, don't be sleeping here. Uh, you need to sleep in your room. Need sleep now. Fine, I'll carry you back to your room then. Really? Uh, sure, but you owe me one. What's this so kind? Thanks. Like I said, you owe me one. Now then, get on my back. Yep. Alright. Not heavy? I'm fine. That's, the, that's not an answer to the question. <laughs> that's not an answer. I can't hold back from sleeping. I'm so bad. Uh, so he caused trouble. Uh, sleepy, there's no need to. And she's gone. You need to apologise. Okay, we're here. And uh, now that i got a chance to look, uh, you have a pretty neat room. Uh, look at all the plants. Uh, that's right, uh, no time for me to be lo uh, lounging in your room. Uh, there, nice and comfy in your bed. Well, I guess that's that, and I just need to leave without waking her up. Yeah? What to see? You awake? Don't go. Her face is so close. Also, sleep with me. Uh, she's mighty clingy, is she dreaming or something? Fine. I can't sleep with you, but I can stay with you, uh, so have a good sleep, you hear? Yep, thanks. Is she asleep? I guess uh, she must She must have uh, been fighting hard to stay awake the whole time. A good night and sleep tight. Uh, maybe best of a good stream tonight. Alright. Oh, a third! Oh, Jesus, hello. Sleepy? Uh, sleepy, you're wobbling. Are you alright? Oh, it's a little mermaid. Uh, you look like you're sick. This is just like deja vu. Uh, she was sleepy the last time and probably this time too. You're sleepy, right? Yep, yep. I knew it. Uh, she's going uh, to end up sleeping here, so we should take her to her room. Okay, let's go, sleepy. Yep. Imagine living with narco like like there's a regular narcolepsy, and then there's like magic anime narcolepsy. Imagine that shit. <laughs> uh, uh, come now. If you're going to sleep, sleep in your bed. No, there's a plant. Your bed's over there. Bed. It's almost like she's sleepwalking. Again. Now, what did you just say? I want to sleep with you again, Otsu. Oh, Lemo was like, hey, hang on, what? What was that? What was that? <laughs> Shoot, this isn't going to go well. Yeah, it's not what you think, Princess. Uh, uh, please sleep with me uh, like the last time, Otsu. <laughs> Otsu? Hey, if you're all wrong, I don't say a single thing on her, ever, I promise. Otsu, did I do something wrong? Say, so, uh, can you vouch for me? Tell her that we've done nothing wrong. Wrong? All we did was... Of all the sentences she had to <laughs> prematurely say. Uh, please wake up, Sleepy. <laughs> oh, she's gone. Alright. Uh, what should I do? How can I prove I haven't done anything wrong? Oh, so uh, you're blown this way out of proportion. I'm fine. Princess, you trust me? I was just happy uh, how uh, kind you were to Sleepy. I wasn't doubting you in the slightest. I just think Sleepy is, is just fawn, uh, fawning. Fawning? To me? Uh, you helped her before, right? I think she's just happy uh, you were so kind to her. Because she's still a child inside. I see. I'm pretty amazed that she can be sleepy like this. Uh, say also, why don't we all have a nap together? Yeah, I'm getting sleepy anyway. As you wish, shall I escort you to the... Oh my god, this fucking simp. <laughs> this goddamn simp. We should keep quiet uh, so that we don't wake up uh, sleeping. Very well. Oh, they just fucking drop. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, really? Really? Alright, Jesus.
Hey there, sleepy. Uh, so what was that about? Uh, clothes. Clothes, what about? Uh, slowly is fine, sleepy. Yeah, thanks. That person, clothes was ripped. Huh? Ripped apart was embarrassing, so I wanted to warn. What part was you talking about? I see, so uh, you wanted to let the person know then? Yeah, but I couldn't. If only I could speak up, then maybe. No, I'm no good. That's not true. Uh, you shouldn't get uh, so down yourself like that. Uh, she's right. Not everyone uh, can speak up, you know. But it's not like you uh, tore that person's clothes or anything. If anything, uh, it's that person's fault for not, yeah, for not uh, willing uh, to, yeah, for not willing to listen to uh, what you wanted to say. Each person has their strengths and weaknesses. Uh, so you need to uh, force yourself. What well, to force what you're not good at? Sleepy. But I still want to talk. I want to help. If it's my weakness, then uh, no use. No use to do my best. No, that's not what I meant. I'm sorry. We didn't mean uh, to denounce uh, you know, what you're doing. We just wanted to cheer you up. I feel a bit better. I thought I needed to do my best, but some things I, I don't need to worry about. I can't talk well, and I don't need to. Sleepy. We tried to cheer up, but it only made things worse. Yeah, this happens. Yeah, I didn't think I should take our words so badly. Yeah, getting sleepy, I'm going. Yes, this is the trend every, every character arc goes through. Fun time. Problem. We say something to cheer him up. It comes out bad. We apologise. And then CG scene. First game repeats itself. Oh, we're, okay, we're finally allowed to leave, are we? Bloody hell. Welcome. You want to purge? See ya. Right, who's in front? Is that fun, Belina? Uh, who is she with? Is it someone, yeah, is it, uh, someone we saved at last time? Don't worry, the sun always looks over us, does it? Uh, as with its warm light, uh, you two seek solace and uh, peace if you want, uh, as you wait for its coming. Yeah, thank you very much. I'll do my best to see uh, the sun once again. Fumbelina? Oh, you saw that? Uh, yes. She wanted to join the order, uh, so after giving her uh, our teachings, I was going to show her around. I see, so it's a surprise like this. I don't mind, but next time, let me know you're here. Well, I wasn't sure if I could bother you. After all, uh, you weren't acting like yourself there. I bet you thought I was uh, out of place. I mean, you're kind of poaching our people. Not at all. It can't be helped. I have roles here. And uh, I can't uh, be acting like how I usually do. I see. It must be quite tiring. Honestly, I'm still not used to this. Uh, in a way, it's easier fighting Martians. Uh, then again, it's not that I don't like doing this as long as it helps everyone here. Fighting Martians isn't everything. The Order uh, made me see uh, that there are other ways to help. Fighting Martians isn't everything. Oh, and uh, Lady Ohime, I guess I can call her uh, Machira in front of you. Uh, it also helps uh, to know uh, that Machira's words almost always come true. I've thought about it before, but are her, yeah, but are her omens that accurate? I'm not surprised you asked. Uh, we were able to get away uh, from that nightmare because of Machira. Machira was acting really weird a short while before the nightmare struck. Yeah, she was pale, shaking, and scared out of her wits. Yeah, it was uh, then that she asked uh, that we all leave the area. But it was too late. Uh, we simply didn't have uh, time to help everyone in the Liberty District. That isn't your fault. I guess so, uh, but we could have helped. Uh, you may be uh, thinking about if thinking that uh, you weren't able to save them. But if so, you got it all wrong. You're able to save the Order. Everyone uh, there is alive now. That's a fact. Wanting to save everyone and wishing that you could have uh, done more uh, will hurt you more than anything. I suppose. We sisters made it out alive, uh, so uh, we're going to have uh, to become uh, the beacon of hope for the survivors. I'm sure it uh, all will uh, go well the next time. Uh, we'll uh, make sure we save everyone. I guess we'll just have to, uh, to each. Uh, we'll just have to uh, each do our best. Of course, I'm counting on you, Tumblina. <laughs> I guess I can do my best just for you. Ah, yeah. The sun sun be back. Oh, 
I'm worried about Grail. She's been like this for days now. I guess what happened to Hansel oh, was too much for her to fathom. I suppose she has emotions just like any of us. Uh, should we uh, just leave her alone? Maybe I should talk to her. No, wait. If you're going to spend time wondering, uh, spend it on action. Here, let me show you. Uh, just a second, this might not be the best time to bother on girl. I'm actually on Hammy's side, princess. I'm sure she's hurt, uh, but I also uh, think she's uh, also suffering from solitude. Uh, but we're here. Yep, yeah, um, but maybe uh, she might not uh, see that, and that's why we should uh, try to approach her from our side. I'm willing to talk to her, just uh, be by her side in the time of need, don't you think so? I see. I'm amazed at how quickly you were able to come to a conclusion over something I couldn't figure out. You weren't able to make a decision uh, be uh, because uh, you're kind. And uh, now let's go. Let's go see Grail. Understood. Does that mean that like Hamlet isn't kind? <laughs> hey there, Grail. Oh, so little, my mate Hamlet. What brings you free here? Uh, if you don't mind, can we join you? I don't see why not. Uh, what are you uh, doing here all by yourself? Uh, were you suffering? <laughs> were you suffering or something? Oh, so soon. Suffering? What are you talking about? Now, I know it's uh, difficult uh, what ha yeah, with what happened to our Hansel, uh, but we're here for you. Hansel? Oh, you mean now that he's dead? Or how he's dead? Oh, she's taking it well. Even, uh, I'd even say she's borderline cold-hearted. I don't see why I should suffer over my uh, dear brother Hansel's death. What? But uh, you don't need uh, to put up a front. Uh, you're free to say how well what you. Hansel died. Uh, he isn't here now. That's a fact. But aren't you sad? Your brother died. On the contrary, I'm very happy that he died with a cause. Great, was serious, isn't she? You could have worded it better. He died for the sake of everyone. Oh, so calm down. Uh, no, I won't. Uh, great, I expected more from you. Hansel was uh, more of a human than you. I understand uh, why you're seemingly upset. So Hansel was more of a subordinate than a brother. Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be sad if, yeah, if that was so too. Subordinate? That's not. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's uh, not true too. I suppose uh, what I feel is something incomprehensible to others. She left. As usual, it seems. What in the world uh, did I say to her? Uh, she's, yeah, she's as uh, usual, and yet, yeah, I got angry over her demeanor. Yeah, because you're kind of insane, <laughs> uh, kind of insane. The idea of of being proud of someone dying for something honorable that they believe in, you kind of can't understand. <laughs> I don't know. Like, like if someone if someone dies for something they believe, like I like, I. Going into war and shit and stuff like that. Like, if, if, a, if a soldier fully believes in what he's doing is the right thing, and, like, he succeeds in saving so many lives, but dies in the process, you can be like, you know what, nah. You know what, nah. Nah, yeah. Proud of that boy. My pride for that boy doing what he did outweighs my sadness. <laughs> That's a thing. That's a thing, Otsu. That's a thing. <laughs> Use thoughts. How does Gretel have a better understanding than how people work than you, bitch? Also, it doesn't uh, look like uh, Gretel was sad, but I don't think it's because she's cold hide. She's kind as everyone else, uh, but it's just, yeah, it's just that uh, she thinks uh, very differently from us. What do you mean by that, princess? I mean, you was kind of a bitch. <laughs> uh, before that, yes. Wait, is she angry? I mean, kinda. Her brother died in front of her. And because she didn't openly break down into tears, you called her a cold-hearted bitch. <laughs> I think, yeah. You could have worked yourself better. That came out really bad. I know, I'm sorry. Well, make sure you say that ne uh, to her next time. Understood. Oh, you're only being uh, used and abused by Little Mermaid. No, uh, not really. Well, I don't know the details, but good luck. Uh, thanks. I guess I feel better now. But why did the girl say uh, what she said? And why does Princess mean uh, by saying girl's kind? Because! Be you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Hey there, Snow White. Uh, what's with the size? Is there a problem? 
Oh, what, so Little Mermaid? I was just uh, getting a bit down on myself. I'm just surprised at how narrow-minded I am. Or, like, uh, how I get scared so easily. I never see you as narrow-minded, no, but I, I see Otsu as narrow-minded. On the contrary, uh, you always uh, come uh, to help Fumblina and things. As for being scared, I'm guessing that's just it's just about the mirrors. But that's how you just yeah, that's just how your love video works. That's not it. I'm just scared. Yeah, sure, I'm scared of mirrors, but there's something else that's scaring me. Is it Jack? Oh, it's the nightmare. Okay, yeah. A blood maiden being afraid of a nightmare? Understandable. <laughs> Hello there, Jack. Hello. Snow White. What's the matter? She looks so distraught. Oh, Snow White. Okay. <laughs> that was spelled so weirdly. Oh, what the? Uh, why are you hiding behind me? Yeah, I'm so sorry. It's just that Jack is. Wait, you're scared of Jack? He's a nightmare. <laughs> I know he isn't bad, is, uh, but I don't really see him. I just can't. I know, uh, I'm not judging, yeah, I know I'm just judging him by his looks, I'm so narrow-minded, I'm such a horrible girl. I see. Well, I understand how you feel, I mean, just by looks alone, Jack uh, can be quite intimidating. I know he's an ally, uh, but that, uh, yeah, and I shouldn't be uh, scared, but... It's okay, Snow White, uh, uh, say, so you have an apple with you, right? You might have one? Why, yes, here. Yeah. Uh, take a close look, here. Yeah. Oh, Jack caught the apple in his mouth. <laughs> He's like a dog. See? Uh, see what? I mean, that was amazing, but... Now, you know if you toss one. Uh, here, give it a try. Why don't you just carry apple? You know, I'm asking why Snow White carries apples with her. You know what? I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not even gonna dignify that question <laughs> with completion. <laughs> okay, here. Wow. More. More, okay, how about two in a row? Here. Good. That's how is it. Jack looking a lot cuter now, right? You're all right. You're scared? Uh, not anymore, now that I've had a chance to interact with him. He's not as scary as before. That's good she overcame her fear of Jack, but she's looking at him more of a pet now. Kind of. Uh, wait a second, oh, Snow White's apple's poisonous. Well, it, d it doesn't look like it's affecting Jack, so I guess it's okay. Alright. Apologise, apologise. Uh, great, I'm sorry about last time. Uh, that, doesn't, uh, that doesn't sound right, maybe a bit more casual. Uh, great, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that won't work. Uh, it shouldn't sound too casual, something a bit more heartfelt. Great, how about that last time? Did you call? Oh, Grail. That's quite rude, calling me and being surprised to see me. <laughs> uh, how are you? As usual. I expect her to see, to see me practicing my apology to her uh, for my uh, tirade last time. Uh, what should I say? I'm not really talking with her yet. Uh, Grail, uh, about last time. I'm sorry for what I said, uh, what I said then, so... Last time, what are you talking about? Uh, you know, when I ran over Hansel's death and how you didn't see it seemed like you cared. Oh, that. Yeah, that's it. After after all I was uh, worried about, that's all she has to say. I was actually thinking about what you told me then. Uh, you were? I thought you didn't care. Uh, caring isn't the right term. I was thinking of why I wasn't sad over Hansel's death. My analysis uh, is that I wasn't sad because I felt proud of Hansel's death. Proud? Yeah, see? Thank you! Thank you! The fact that he emotionally, like, like, the, like, not even inept. What would you call, what would you call Gretel? Not even distant? Blind? Emotionally deaf? I don't know what you call it, but, like, she exhibits pretty much no emotion ever. <laughs> Apart from smugness. <laughs> and she is able to understand the complexities of facing death. And the natural human reactions that can come with facing the death of loved ones easier than you. Miss high and mighty emotions all the time. What the hell? Oh god, alright. Oh well, yes, death has little meaning here. Uh, but he died with a purpose. Uh, how can I not be proud? 
I said my feeling of pride overcame my feeling. Think exactly what I fucking said. Your pride can overcome your sadness. God, all right. I see. I'm getting worked up about this, but it's just so weird how, like, of all the, like, with how Otsu's been presented out this entire game. Like, she's normally on the ball with so much shit. So for her to come at this and instantly go into the black and white, you're not crying, you must be a cunt. It's like, what? <laughs> so, I get, like, it's done in, so it's done for the sole purpose to service, like, Gretel's character here. I get that. But it's so strange how she goes from on the ball most of the time to instantly un not understanding how life works. It's so weird. Uh, she had his purpose uh, over death itself. I guess that's one way to appro yeah, of approaching death. I doubt I can keep my composure if uh, he died without meaning. Uh, not that uh, I can find out now, though. I'm sorry about the last time, Grail. I got all angry about really understanding you. Uh, not to worry. Uh, all it was, you know, all it was uh, that we uh, didn't uh, interface well then. That said, I actually need to apologise to you. Yeah? Grail apologises to me. I wasn't able to properly. Uh, Oriate, um, I is that the right word? Oriate? I don't. Is that the right? Is that correct? Is that grammatically correct to use that? that maybe. I don't know. I can't properly uh, orient my uh, feelings to you, hence uh, it was my fault that uh, we didn't interface well. I thought I was observant, uh, but I suppose I still need to learn uh, how, yeah, how to uh, properly relate my feelings. I can at least say I feel a lot better, a lot closer to you now than before. Is that so? I can't fathom how you can say that without uh, proper measurements. And that's not what I was driving at, but uh, you're good as uh, how you are now. Well, if you say so. I still understand what Princess meant when she said uh, that Gretel was kind. Uh, don't worry, Hansel. Uh, we'll, be, yeah, we'll be here by Gretel's side. Ah, uh, yeah, more. Uh, we're going we're gonna to upset Snow White this time now? Let's go! I feel like uh, we've been through this a lot before. There's no way it does have a tendency of feeling bad for herself. Oh, hello there. Uh, is there a problem? Uh, why do you ask? Well, you look troubled, and most of the time that means that you're worried about something. I suppose, I guess no way is readable like a book. Uh, this is good. She sounds worse than usual. Uh, if you like, we're open for discussion here. Uh, thank you very much. I got into another fight with Sister Fumbelina. Oh? I guess uh, you get uh, your fair, sh you get yeah, you get your fair share of fights, even among sisters. So what happened? I'm not sure. It just sort of started. All I can recall was that Sister Fumblina was angry of how naive I am. I'm sure she was. I'm sure uh, she was angry only because uh, she was worried uh, for you, Snow White. Yes, I know she's always thinking of us sisters as a whole. I don't uh, want to fight, but I'm not sure why it happens so often. Sister Fumbelina uh, does have a tendency to go off a bit, uh, but what she says makes sense. I'm sure it's the same, yeah, this time too. She's right yeah, in that Snow White is a naive, foolish girl. You have to be so down on yourself like that, Snow White. Yeah, she's right, being naive is a sign that you're kind, and I think uh, that's a defiant part of you. Uh, do you think? Uh, for all you know, my kindness could just be uh, me being indecisive. It's probably just acting uh, like I'm uh, kind uh, to avoid confrontation. If so, uh, then what Sister Fumbelina said is right. I am naive, and I think that's it. Uh, you're thinking a bit too, a bit deep. Uh, thank you for your kind words. I'm sure uh, you're you're saying it only because it's true. Not at all. This isn't good. Uh, she feels so bad. She's starting uh, to doubt us. Our words aren't even reaching her. Yeah, this is familiar. This is exactly what happened in the last game. <laughs> I'm sorry for making you both uh, worried. Uh, please, uh, you can leave me alone. I understand very well what Sister Fumbelina is saying. Uh, we are sisters after all. I'm sure I'm in the wrong, uh, so I'll just I'll follow whatever my dear sister says. Uh, stop, uh, stop it, Fumbelina would never want you uh, to just blindly follow what she says. It's okay, Otsu, really. I'm sorry uh, that I brought this up in the first place, and uh, thank you for listening to me. And she's gone. That was the most foul smile I've seen in my life. Uh, she has to be a lion to herself. Yep, I'm sure uh, she's going to be okay. Well, I'm not sure she's going to be okay. Oh, this is a new area. Hello. Hey, someone. Is it coming from Deus 2? Oh, we can kill them, right? Uh, yes, uh, this poison should do... Oh, are, we, are we killing bugs? <laughs> uh, kill, poison. Am I hearing them right? 
I still can't uh, believe that such filth appeared in my room. Yes, I know how you feel. Quite uh, disgusting to find roaches running around. In any case, I'm very happy that you had uh, the poison feed uh, to use against them. Yeah, I'm glad to be of help. Uh, but I don't think the poison will resolve the situation. Uh, you, do, you do keep your room clean, right? I can say that I have everything uh, positioned, uh, so uh, yeah, so that yes, uh, uh, so all that I need is within reach. So that means your place is clean then. I'm simply decorating my room so that it fits my lifestyle. I guess that's one way of wording it. <laughs> uh, so that's a tough excuse to swallow. I see you must a very yeah, you must have a very lively room. I guess that's just my nice way of uh, trying to keep things mellow. So I suggest you reduce the general clutter in your room, and uh, that would uh, keep the bugs in check. You need to do something other than using poison uh, if you really want to get rid of them for good. I can't clean my room. It's never too late to start. Uh, but can you imagine what would happen if one of those uh, roaches appeared during cleaning? Uh, that would be quite shocking. <laughs> right, the reason I don't clean my room is because I'm scared of them. She's lying. That's not the reason why she can't clean her room. Uh, poor Kagi, yeah, the thing that uh, you can't clean your room because of those vermin. Understood, let me show you how to make the super roach poison then. That sounds horrible, does Snow White really come up with that name? Super roach poison, that sounds quite potent. Uh, uh, let me explain uh, how to make it. First you... Mm, I see. <laughs> Kagi is taking notes, <laughs> she's not uh, faking that. Uh, she must really hate those roaches. And there you have it, and that's how you make it. I see, I'm very surprised that you use uh, that ingredient to make it. That ingredient? What ingredient? <laughs> if possible, you can uh, make one now. Uh, so, I, yeah, you can make one now so I can see uh, what it will end up like. I take it back, Kaki is lazy. Uh, she's uh, going to make Snow White uh, make it. Uh, you want to see uh, You want to see one of the making? I suppose uh, we, uh, you should uh, see one made uh, to truly understand. Thank you so much. Uh, this should get rid of every one of them. I can guarantee it'll work, let's do our best killing them. And yes, we'll eradicate them into oblivion. Oh, Kageya, I love you. <laughs> She's such a smug piece of shit, I love her. I can't believe how casually they're talking about uh, killing and things. Uh, they're starting to scare me. I'm afraid of the ingredient Kage mentioned, but I better not get involved. Alright, are we good? No, we are not good. Uh, Grill, do you have a moment? I would have appreciated it uh, if you would have uh, let me answer you before you opened the door. I'm sorry, but I did not before coming in. Uh, so do you have uh, some time to spare? I was busy reading, so maybe tomorrow. Oh really? That's too bad. I just wanted to share uh, some sweets I happened to go. Yeah, I happened to get. <laughs> Welcome to my room. <laughs> well, that was quick. And uh, now where are the sweets? You brought them here for me, yes? Hold on a second. This is good, thank you, Watson. Oh, I did owe you. Uh, I have to, uh, to say, I'll never get bored of looking at you eating eat so happily. Oh, my exact same uh, sentiments to you. What do you mean? I find it quite interesting in observing your relationship with Little Mermaid, but... I'm just as interested in how you're able to read the Nightmare's feelings. Yeah? Uh, so, reading the uh, many uh, fairy tales... Reading the many fairy tales have uh, made me understand the reasons of our blood libido. Oh, she oh she just has access to that shit now. Okay, because that was. Did she know about the fairy tales? Because like she you get her late in the first game. She's the one who figures it out. Does she have the books on hand? Does she know or did she get them from the professor? I don't remember. Yeah, uh, but in your case. You don't have any. Uh, you don't have any real blood libido. I suppose a marriage uh, may be yours, but uh, you got to run grill. I do have blood libido. It's a repayment. Repayment. I can feel myself getting tense each time uh, my issue pay uh, what I owe rises, and that's why I keep saying uh, that I owe someone. Uh, that way, I can uh, repay that person later. I see. Uh, so that's why you told me uh, that you owed me one earlier. Very interesting indeed. That's uh, the only way uh, it feels like I uh, repaid uh, what was due. Yeah, what was due properly. But in the story, oh, oh, she, oh, just outright mentioning it. Okay, 
But in the story of the Great Fall Crane, the crane showed its true form, uh, but well, while we pay him. Uh, if you uh, do have a uh, true form, what lies inside of you? Yeah, who knows? One other thing, you seem uh, overly attracted to Little Mermaid for no apparent reason. Now that's not true. I feel as if I can learn uh, your true nature if I research uh, on your attachment to Little Mermaid. Uh, just the thought is tantalizing. I'm attached to Princess, uh, my true nature. Is there uh, something about me that I don't know of? It just all feels so weird. Also, also that means like, Grell, Grell has knowledge of the books now. She's just stated the book that Otsu is based on. Otsu had no reaction. So as opposed to the first game where when the realization that they were just recreations or approximations of fairy tale characters was world shattering for these characters. Here it's just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> also it's just like, oh, I'm based on a book? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, I guess. It is what it is. Like <laughs> just no reaction. <laughs> like, oh, I'm not a real person, I'm just based on an approximation of a character from a book. Eh, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, I guess that's okay. <laughs> My attachment to her is based on love, that's all. Love? Love has no reason. Uh, there is uh, no reason needed to love. Yeah, I don't understand that emotion will, uh, but it is uh, quite intriguing. I guess anything uh, can be intriguing to you. Oh, we got more. Alright. What? I sound like Jack. It's coming from Gretel's room. Uh, let's go find Blina. All right. Ow. Ow. All right. Oh, hello there. Gretel? What are you doing? You mean, how am I in my underwear? Uh, no, why are you attacking Jack like that? You're going to sound worse than it is. I'm trying to, I'm trying to hold him down by force. That's, that's attack. Okay. Uh, that actually sounds worse. I needed him to stay calm for my experiment. Experiment? Why, yes, he is a male, so I was experimenting to see how he would react to a female. <laughs> Which is why <laughs> I dressed in a way uh, so I could uh, <laughs> arouse his sexual desire. I'm honestly at a loss for words. Uh, but look at Jack, it's obvious that he doesn't like what you're doing, isn't that right, Jack? <laughs> stop. See, he's asking you to stop. This isn't going well for my experiment. She's not listening. I see, I know why Jack is sexually aroused by me. I like the sexual appeal as a female. Or it's because he's a nightmare. Or it's because he's, you're not Alice. Um, if so, then all we have to do is somehow increase my sexual appeal. Eh, uh, or Sue. Yeah, me? <laughs> take her clothes off. Uh, why me? Absolutely not. Fumbling, I take. <laughs> hey, you better not be telling me to strip myself. I'm not that kind of girl. Hmm. Now, why are you looking at my chest? I wonder if nightmares hold elite fetishes too. Oh, okay, alright. <laughs> what did you say? After setting up my chest, are you implying that I'm not mature? Heal, <laughs> Fumbelina, heal. I don't know uh, what instigated you, uh, but there's nothing wrong with not being physically mature. You're not helping me one bit. I'm not trying to help you, I'm just stating a fact. Fumblina's right, uh, you're not helping. Uh, please uh, hold your words for the grill. Uh, Fumblina, no, I, don't, I don't think uh, the size of a lady's chest is important, it's the shape. Look who's talking. You wear a sash around your chest uh, to, make, uh, to make it a flat, you faker. What? Uh, shoot, now she's coming after me. Yeah, I'll prove you've got a huge rack under there, strip now. Oh, uh, wait. I don't have huge breasts. It's only a bit above par. There again, making it sound like yeah, it isn't huge again. <laughs> I'm gonna make you nude. All right. What? Jack? Has Jack just like crept out the room? Is <laughs> he just like I? I'ma just leave. <laughs> I I'ma head out. <laughs> uh, that would uh, definitely increase sexual appeal. Uh, let me help you with, uh, for experimental purposes. Uh, Gal, you're starting to scare me. <laughs> you're not getting away from us. Uh, let's see what you have under that sash of yours, shall we? Yes, we shall. <laughs> yeah, Jack just leaves. <laughs> He's just like, I am. Um, I am a head out. <laughs> Jack just like, I am a head out. <laughs> you girls, you girls do whatever. I'm fucking leaving. <laughs> I'm fucking leaving. 